Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. Wow, that's probably the craziest intro I've done in the channel for a long time now. So, guys, I am excited, man. I'm excited for the Copa America, guys. 2024, guys, held in the United States. And, of course, you guys know I'm going to try to go with the many of the games are possible, guys. The venues are confirmed. We are over 14 cities, man. I'll try to go as many games as I possibly can for the Copa America, guys. And um, I'm very much looking forward to this. Very much excited, man. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. And we're going to go ahead and get on with the video, man. We're going to go ahead on the video, man. So I really hope you guys did enjoy the introduction. So let's start with Group A, guys. So Group A, we have Argentina. Of course, they're defending Copa America champions. They already were seeded for this, you know, which is great for them. And then we have Colombia here. I would love to see RG Colombia. I think the two nations have played against each other the last two editions of Copa America 2019 and 2021. And that 21 match was insane, man. RG versus Colombia was a crazy, crazy match. It was an insane match. I remember that match very well. And it was so crazy. You know, going to the penalties. I mean, Martinez doing the, you know, the mocking the, you know, saying, I'm going to save your penalty. Luis Diaz goal. Lataro goal. Messi assist. Open net. There was, it was just so much drama, man. I really love that game. And I need to see RG Colombia again. Then I love RG versus Paraguay. Another matchup that I would like to see. I think it happened in 2019 Copa America, if I'm not mistaken. And Argentina failed to be Paraguay. I think it ended in a draw. And Paraguay were, RG were so bad at Copa America, man. And then um, I would like to see Costa Rica, Honduras, just for the fun of it. You know, to add that wild card there to make things interesting. And, of course, I think um, it would be interesting to see what um, Costa Rica, Honduras can do. And let's be real, though. I mean, the top two is probably pretty straightforward in that group, you would say. So, yeah. Moving on to Group B. We have here is Mexico. Mexico, of course, they um defending Gold Cup champions. You know, they won the Gold Cup, so they were seeded in a Group B. And I want to see them against Peru. I think Peru would be a great matchup for them because both these national teams are not at their peaks anymore. And both of them didn't really perform well. Um, and the last um, didn't really perform well in the qualifiers. And, you know, Peru ultimately failed to make the World Cup. You know, and uh, you could say... Mexico also didn't perform very well. You know, they didn't make it out the group stage of the World Cup. So, I just think it'll be a great matchup. Yeah. Both of the teams have an aging squad as well, you know, with that narrative as well. And I think it's a very interesting matchup for that one. And then Mexico-Panama, you know, Panama is given the better. Uh, Panama has always been a, mexico Panama has always been a close game in recent years. And it's always been a close encounter, you know. And I feel like, for me, I would really want to see what Panama can bring to this group. And then Jamaica as well. We know how good Jamaica are. You know, what they did against Canada and the Nations League. Um, you know, quarterfinals, you know, defeating Canada on the road is a quite incredible achievement. And I feel like Jamaica, honestly, in this group could make things interesting. Like, this is a group of death, you could honestly say, because Jamaica can make things interesting. Panama can make things interesting. Peru, like, you have a very wide open second place one. And even maybe first place is also not so straightforward. So, you know, I feel like this will be a very good group, and I would love to see this happen in IRL, of course. Moving on to Group C. Oh, sorry. Group C we have here is USA, Ecuador, Chile, Bolivia. Let's start with USA. Of course, we're the highest-ranked CONCACAF nation. We are the best nation CONCACAF, in my opinion, right now. So as an American fan, um, I think this would be a great, great um, a battle for us. And Ecuador, I think, would give us a great challenge. I think Ecuador would give us a really, really good challenge for us. We've seen what they did in the World Cup. They were fantastic. And even though they didn't progress from the group stage, they played some beautiful football. You know? The only issue with Ecuador is that they couldn't score enough goals, and that was kind of like the big issue they had, and, you know, they relied a lot on Enter Valencia. And I feel like, for me, in this group, they could really make in things interesting. And of course, Chile. We know how good Chile are, you know, and I want to see USA against Chile because I don't think USA played against Chile in the last couple of years. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, and I think it'll be interesting. And then, obviously, Bolivia to make things very competitive. So I think this will be a good group for the United States where, in the sense that we get, like, some non concacaf teams, you know, and so we get that experience against the Condibol teams and see what we could do, man, because I think the USA needs to play more against Condibol teams than CONCACAF teams. I think we are, as I said, the best nation in CONCACAF, so we need to get some more. That's, um, we need to get tested outside of our confederation. I think it's a doable group for the United States. Like, I think we should, add, we should be able to advance from that group. Whether we top the group or not, that remains to be seen, but I do think we should be able to advance from that group. And then finally, Group D, of course, Brazil, man. They're the... um. You know, the highest, um, they're the second highest ranked nation in Con Bowl. And I would see, I would love to see how Brazil Uruguay does. You know, Brazil Uruguay, it's a great match from the Copa America. I don't think we've seen in the last two editions, so I, I would like to see. It. And then Brazil Venezuela. Venezuela been amazing in the last, um, the qualifiers, they've been amazing. You know, I've been really impressed. And then Trinidad Tobago and Canada. You know, what, what can they do in this group? So, you know, that would be interesting. So, those are my groups for the Copa America, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I don't know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. Remember, guys, this is just my 
um, my predict my my predictions. Well, not my predictions, but my what I want to see. So remember, guys, please keep in mind that this is I try to make these groups as interesting as I possibly can, and I would love to see what you guys think in the comments below, guys. So remember, guys, to like and subscribe if you did make it this far, and comment below your thoughts. What dream? What's your dream draw as well? And let's see how many I can get correct for the real draw. Of course, on Thursday, December seventh at seven thirty p.m. Eastern time, I'll of course do a live reaction for the draw, probably around eight thirty ish. Um, that kind of time. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.